Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday to all of you, or whatever day of the week it is that you're watching this. It is that exciting time of the month today where I'm going to share with you some of my favorite products from the month of October, and I genuinely cannot believe how fast October went. It's getting really hot here in Sydney. It's still kind of weird to me, the whole it's winter, it's summer in winter, this backward seasons thing. I'm still not quite okay with that yet, but um, I'll deal with it because the weather's pretty beautiful. But okay, let's, what do I have? What are we talking about? It's favorites, right? Uh, I have some makeup and I actually have quite a bit of skincare like I promised in September's favorites. I've been trying out some different skincare bits and pieces and I feel confident now that they definitely have been working for me, so I'm gonna share them with you today. But I'm gonna start with the makeup because Everybody loves the makeup. First thing is a rediscovery for me. This is a product that I used to use religiously a few years ago, but then it got taken over by a different product. And it is Max Select Cover Up Concealer. This, I think they actually almost discontinued this concealer and then they changed their mind and didn't end up discontinuing it. But um, Pro Longwear, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer kind of overtook from this. It's for a similar kind of skin type. It has a very matte finish, quite full coverage. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite similar, a similar target group to the Pro Longwear. And then Pro Longwear, I think, it just lasts a little bit better. So that's why it kind of became a bit more popular. But I tried this for the first time again um, a couple of weeks ago and I just couldn't get over the coverage that it has. I'm actually wearing it under my eyes right now and for me it is way better than Pro Longwear for coverage. The one kind of drawback is that it is very matte so if you're anyway dry under your eyes or you have those kind of crepey lines and um, it does tend to show them so you definitely want to make sure you put some eye cream or something on underneath there but for coverage for like a night out with smoky eyes like this where you want to have really nice coverage under the eyes this is awesome so really really like that and also the packaging is so much better than pro long wear i hate that little pump that sprays out like 20 times too much this is just like a little squeeze like an occ lip tar kind of thing where you put out exactly the amount that you want so really like that next for makeup is a lip pencil and you all know how much i love my lip pencils i'm always on the search for the perfect kind of natural nude lip pencil, especially on my fair skin. And at the moment, I'm really, really liking the gorgeous Cosmetics Kiana lip pencil. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's kind of a pink beige color. And this is one of those long wearing formulas. So like the MAC Pro Long Wear lip pencils where it um, sets. So very, very good for staying on and it gives a really good matte finish. I've got gloss on top of mine, which is why mine looks shiny, but by itself, it's very matte. So if you do like to overdraw your lips a little bit like I do, then matte, matte, matte lip pencils like this work best. They kind of create the better illusion. So yeah, really, really like that. And then finally for makeup, it's not even really makeup. Um, guys, you're, you're gonna be blue in the face from hearing me talking about these brushes, but Zoeva, <laughs> they have launched pink makeup brushes. Look at how cool they are. They, I think it's called the pink, the pink, oh, I can't remember what it's called, the pink something set. Um, anyway, they're a set of brushes, they're pink. They're exactly the same as the other Zoeva brushes, except they've got pink handles, just, ugh. I just love them so much. So this is the set that I have been using. This is a brush that I didn't have previously from them. Um, it's an angled cheek brush. And I have a flat top buffer brush for foundation as well, which I didn't bring over with me. But um, yeah, if you're in the market for new brushes and you like pink, then definitely give them a go. Uh, oh no, I have one more make uh, makeup item. Yes, uh, this is the Max Factor Skin Luminizer Foundation. I have to say when this actually got sent to me, um, by Max Factor, and I was a bit like, mm, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know, I just don't really use Max Factor products that often, and especially because you can't get them in the States, I kind of feel like I shouldn't really use it that often, so I hate the fact that I like this so much, but I really, really like this. It's like a creamy, satiny finish that does set, but it's not matte, so my skin at the moment, um, I went back on the contraceptive pill about three months ago so my skin is changing it's not as oily as it used to be so i can wear kind of more luminous finish foundations um i don't need that really matte kind of long wearing formula so much anymore and this fits the bill perfectly it's like a lovely 
a combination of a long wearing but also quite luminous and it just makes my skin look really lovely and natural and the color also this is 40 um light ivory this is a perfect match for my natural skin so yeah, really, really like that. All right, on to more skincare products. So these are things that I have been using for quite a while and they're for specific skin concerns. So I'll start with the more general one. Um, I have a new cleanser. This is the Alpha H Triple Action Cleanser with Pime. So this is a cleanser specifically for people with excess oil productions and it's to minimize oil production and just keep the skin balanced so it doesn't strip your skin it doesn't like it's, it's not full of like detergents and sulfates and stuff that's going to completely strip your skin of any oil and leave it like quite exposed and um, it's very very gentle it does not foam which I still kind of feel a little bit weird about I know you don't need foam in order to get a good clean but it's it takes a while to get used to stuff not foaming um, and it's kind of like a gel. It's a really weird formula. It's like a gel that stays like solid kind of in your hand. Very strange to explain. Um, and very, not very fragranced. Yeah, it just smells like clean. It doesn't really smell like perfumey or anything. Um, but I've been using this. I am about, I have about this much left. So however long, long that is, like maybe two months. And my skin is just loving it, absolutely loving it. It's very gentle, it's removing all of my makeup. I use it twice, so I double cleanse with it. And I think my skin is looking the best it has in a really, really long time. Um, yeah, if you're just looking for something very gentle for oily skin, you don't want to use anything too like aggressive, I would definitely check out Alpha H and that cleanser. Alpha H products in general are just like top of the range as far as I'm concerned. I'm all about active skincare now. So that was for the face. Now, up until a few months ago, I was really struggling with back knee. So front knee and back knee. I was getting breakouts all on my chest and all along my back. And to be honest, that's the main reason that I actually went back on the pill. Um, I was getting breakouts on my face as well, but I felt like I was kind of able to keep them under control to a certain degree. Like I was still getting them, but I could cover them with makeup and I suppose I was, I'm able to reach my face so I could use, you know, specific cleansers and creams and different things for acne on my face. But on my back and on my chest, it was just a little bit more difficult. So I just thought, screw it, I need to just go to the doctor and go back on the pill because that seems to be the only thing for me that really keeps my acne at bay. So I have done that. And also I have been using a couple of different products that I do think have made a big difference in keeping that area clear. First is Stridex. So Stridex are um, makeup wipes. They're little like, uh, not makeup wipes, they're uh, cleansing pads. So they're like little bits of cotton wool that are soaked in this solution and they're completely alcohol free. So, you know, they're not like stripping or harsh on the skin and they've got 2% salicylic acid in them. So salicylic acid will help to exfoliate the area if you're getting like blackheads and clogged pores and stuff like that, which I definitely was, especially like across my shoulders and where my hair hits the back of my neck. Um, so I've been using these twice a day. One is kind of enough to do your face and then bring it down onto your neck and do your chest and across your shoulders. They're actually really wet, so you get lots of solution on each one. And then I'll use a separate one for my back. And sometimes I do need to enlist the help of Paul with that one because I can't quite reach everywhere on my back. They don't sting. They don't feel like itchy or tight or anything like that, but um, they're definitely working for me. And then the second thing is Finacea. So this is like an acne topical cream. And this, in Australia, you don't need a prescription for it because I didn't need a prescription for it. But I did need to talk to the pharmacist about it and the pharmacist gave it to me. So you can't just walk in. It's it's a behind the counter kind of thing. Over the counter, is that what it's called? Behind the counter? Anyway, you need in Australia anyway, you need to talk to the pharmacist. I'm not sure what it's like in the States or in the UK. But this is this would be a similar thing to like a benzyl peroxide type solution, but it doesn't have benzyl peroxide in it. It's got azelaic acid and benzic acid. So these are alternative treatments, similar kind of idea to like your benzyl peroxide. Um, it's to help like unclog and exfoliate and keep the bacteria at bay because benzyl peroxide products like um, Benzac, they're all right for my face, but I can't wear them on my body because they bleach clothes. So I couldn't wear it, you know, during the day under my clothes because you end up just with like bleach marks all over the place. So this is an alternative to those and it doesn't bleach and it doesn't smell and 
yeah, it just, it, it's definitely helped to kind of dry up those um, breakouts and I'm about halfway through my container and I have been using it on my face as well. So I suppose it's just something to think about if you are getting breakouts on your body and you don't want to use something that's going to bleach your clothes, maybe have a look into Finacea. I hadn't even heard of it until about three or four months ago. Um, and so yeah, just thought I would spread the word about that one. And then finally, moving away from the skincare, I have got, I've got this, this doody little sample of perfume. This is a Rouge Bunny Rouge perfume called Vespers. And I brought this along with me um, over the weekend. I just came, I was in Adelaide over the weekend for a wedding. So I wanted to bring a perfume sample and I had this knocking around in my makeup drawer for ages and just kind of forgot about it. Um, but oh my God, it is one of the nicest fragrances. It's kind of fresh, but a little bit masculine at the same time. It's very sexy. Oh, it's just lovely. It's not at all floral. It's kind of musky, but like a little bit sweet. Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. So if anybody is looking to buy me some perfume, Paul, if you're watching this, this Rouge Bunny Rouge Vespers. Yeah, if you're looking for like, if you like fresh, clean, but a little bit kind of masculine fragrances, I would definitely give that a look. And maybe, I don't know, maybe see if you can order samples from the website, um, if you could try it out because, oh my God. Oh, I've got like three drops left and I don't want to use it, but I really want to use it. And that is it for my monthly favorites. So a lot of skincare and a little bit of makeup and perfume. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope maybe there's something in there that you're going to try it yourself. What have your favorites been from the month? I always love reading your comments on these videos. Please let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and lots of blog posts on my website in between. I'll have that link down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Today I am back with this tutorial and this is just a fairly straightforward, sexy, smoky eye with a little bit of a twist. There's a bit of a hint of a pop of color on my waterline. So it's a really, really wearable way to wear color.